Hello, I'm Phil the Power Taylor, and this is my first DVD on how to play darts. So I know you play soft tip, but watch the steel tip, and it will improve your soft tip darts. Me personally, what I, what I do, I get a line straight the way down from the middle of the treble 20, through the bullseye, through the treble three, straight the way down, and that would be the center, there. Aim, pull back, fire. Aim, pull back and fire. All the time, and that's what's going through your head. You've got to start from there. It's not just about this. Three. So if you can zoom in, there's my grip. So as the aim, my hard art will be in my hand here. So it's aim, fire, and then it's that. So you're not looking where they are, you're looking at your treble 20. Fire, it's there. Aim, fire. So it's just, it's just there, and I think to chuck it a little bit in my body there. Like. Not too hard, but just nice. I'm aiming right at the centre. So if I'm aiming for treble 20, I'm aiming right for the centre, treble 20. And as you throw your first dart, you then keep your eyes fixated, pull that out of your hand, remember the strength you just thrown the last dart. And that becomes like a muscle memory. Once you practice, you'll find your range, what will suit you better. But if you can sometimes experiment, maybe make it longer or make it shorter, but you'll have to find whatever suits you. People are different. Some people have long arms, some people have short arms. So it all depends on, on you. So first of all, get your dart and just give it that. And if it lands down there, go a little bit harder. It goes a bit higher up. And then remember that, where it lands around that target. So you've got to remember, which is like muscle memory. Some people throw it really, really hard because they use a lighter dart. So you have, to, you have to find out which one suits you. And that's unfortunately costs sometimes a little bit of money in the UK because you have to keep buying different sets of darts until you find the right one that suits you. Like throwing a ball, like throwing something soft through the air. Like if you're going to throw some paper at somebody, nice and steady, think like a feather. If you do this, your dart will phew. What I try and do is go into the target and then stack on top. So you put all three together. So you use the dart as a guide. So if it goes just under the treble 20, then I can use that dart and sit on top of it. So if it goes like that, I can then go there and there. And that's stacking. It all depends how long I practice for. Um, sometimes I'm better and maybe I can do the set regime in one and a half hours. Sometimes I'm not so good, it might take me three hours. So it all depends. I'd say between one and a half to three hours a day. But if I'm at the World Championships and after half, 30 minutes, I'm ready, and I'll sit down for 20 minutes, have another practice for 10 minutes, sit down, get up, sit down, and so on. So your time, it's just right. Because obviously, 
some days you feel better than other days. So you have to you have to um, listen to what your body's telling you.